Hey everybody, this is Sage Valentine, and this is my review of Season 28 of Survivor Kageon, Episode 10. I told you guys Tony's paranoia was going to get him, and it's slowly but surely getting him, and it is pulling him down. Will he make it to the final five, or the final four, or the final three? God only knows, because even though he has that special idol, eventually he's going to have to use it, so basically Tony will be asked out, as they say. So, um, so far, just to catch you guys up on who's gone so far, it's David, Garrett, Bryce, Jatia, Cliff, Lindsay, Alexis, Sarah, Morgan, LJ, and Jeremiah. This was a very tense episode, and this is the season of Blindside, as I've said, and they are killing it with these blindsides. Every week is a different blindside. I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm just, oh my God, like this episode was crazy. So when they get back from tribal council, Jeffra's trying to look at the bigger picture, which is why she didn't flip. I'm like, you're an idiot. You should have flipped Jeffra. And you're going to find, and the fact that she left this episode proved, even though she even said it at the, um, in the package at the end of the episode, oh, I wish I had flipped. Yes, you should have flipped, Jeffra, but unfortunately you thought that you could ride everybody else's coattails and not do anything. No, this is not the season where you can float. These floaters have to get life rafts and life jackets and float along or float their way down the river and out of this game. So Cass knew that Spencer had the idol. She has this second sense or something about it. I'm like, Cass, please, please. After she flipped, I, um, if you've watched my previous reviews, if you haven't, definitely check them out. I've been overcast ever since she flipped. I don't even know what she's thinking. Yes, you had to make a move in the game, but that was not a smart move to go jump with a bunch of people who are completely against you because they're their own big alliance because they were in their own tribe. But I digress. She also knew that Spencer wouldn't use it and that, that he would use it. And that, and she says, what's the most selfish beast on the planet, a college-age boy? So touche to what Spencer said to her a couple episodes ago about being emotional. Well, he didn't even say that to her. He said that to us. But um, Tony wanted to vote for Spencer, but when he had the idol, he couldn't do it. And, of course, Tasha had uh, the immunity necklace because she won the challenge the second time, so... Tony was kind of asked out. So anyway, Spencer is worried about his place in the game since he used the idol. So everyone gets this money for this Survivor auction. I love the auctions because the food always looks good. So Tony um, basically holds, he wants to hold out for that advantage over Spencer and Tasha. And Spencer and Tasha know they have to be aggressive. So we get to see this huge picture of these the school of like a million or a thousand fish and they break up and oh it's just breathtaking i love the nature shots sorry guys but i'm just a big nature person when it comes to those shots so basically in the um auction trish won candy and rice and water and popcorn and i think that was soda um jeff got a quesadilla margarita salsa and guacamole god that looked good cass got a steak sandwich with iced tea but lost the rice in the water because Trish took that. But Wu was the one that made me jealous because I just I wanted barbecue after that. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. he The way he ate that food, like, I know some of the girls were like, it was sexy. I was just like, you made me jealous. Like, I really want some ribs right about now. Like, Dino Barbecue is calling me. Can't have ribs at 9 o'clock, though. Oh, God. It, just was, it was a sexy scene, though. So Tasha and Tony and Spencer are looking at the advantage. Tasha wanted to hold out um, and wait for another advantage. However, this was the last draw. So Spencer gave all his money. Tony gave all his money. And they said if your um, bid is over $500, you have to draw rocks. Now, a lot of people said that this was fixed. I don't know if it was fixed or not, but it was, it was pretty... It was pretty strange, but Tony somehow got the Black Rock and Spencer got the White Rock, so Spencer lost. So Tony ended up getting it. Cash is, Cash is sitting up there chewing her food, cheering for Tony. And I'm like, why are you cheering for Tony? Tony's not carrying you along, but she's still in that delusion of thinking that she's safe in this game. God, Cass, you were one of my players, man. You just, ugh, just threw away the game for Tony. 
So anyway, um, at this point, Tony's killing the game, in my opinion. I'm not his biggest fan, as you know, but he's killing this game at this point. So Tony says it's a catch-22 of having this, thing, of having this, you know, this um, special advantage. Spencer's upset, but he said that he needed that advantage. He feels like he's the greatest loser of the rock auction, of the um, auction, with, especially with the rocks. So Cass felt happy that Spencer has this true dejected look, like she's just thrilled if anything bad happens to Tasha and Spencer. I'm like, whenever people are like that, even in life. I'm just like, dude, karma is coming for you, seriously. And I believe Cass's time is coming up probably by next week. So Tony was disgusted because his alliance is basically laying down. He didn't say anything about Tasha because Tasha was just laying there just tired because she didn't get any food. But the rest of them are just like, oh, the food. And I had case. And they're just talking about their food and kind of gloating. So he said that they were able to eat and he had to be the person to sacrifice. So... Tony opens, goes off, says he's getting water, opens up the little tube that he got and finds a clue for a immunity idol. And he says he already has a special idol so he can do whatever he wants with this new idol. Okay. Tasha says that Tony is a loose cannon. Tony sees Tasha basically having her own plan, sitting in the water with the girls. And Spencer puts a bug in Tony's ear about Jeffra, claiming that, basically revealing everything that Jeffra said to him and Tasha, last week when they had that barbecue, that's where my love of of uh, ribs and barbecue came from, Lord. So, um, Spencer basically says that, you know, Jeffra wanted you out, and Jeffra could swing, says she can swing Trish, and Tony says he wants to look into it, but then it starts making sense because that paranoia comes out. Why are you so paranoid? That's a good song for Tony today. <laughs> anyway, um, it makes sense, he says, because it's four girls against three guys. And someone on Twitter said that Spencer's playing the Natalie White card. And I actually looked it up and I found out that, um, because I was trying to remember Natalie White. I was like, the name sounds familiar because I did see all the seasons, but some of the people kind of disappeared. But he definitely is playing Natalie's card because Natalie had a killer social game. She was friendly with any, everybody. No one really had anything bad to say about her. So that's the way that he's going through this game, I guess. Basically, he can talk his way through the game. I guess that's what the guy was saying. So we see this fixture, this fish, and this one fish keeps hiding in the reef. It's so cute. So anyway, Spencer's talking, and, you know, he's saying, like, um, Tasha says that she loves Spencer. She has nothing bad to say about Spencer. That's why I like Tasha. Tasha's not two-faced. Tasha's not going to say one thing to you and turn around and do something else in the game. So no matter who wins immunity, um... Tony's just like, well, we can get rid of Tasha and Spencer. So Tony finds his dead crab, right? And he gets pissed off because the girls are telling him what to do, especially Jeffra's the loudest, and she's like telling him, you should co cook the crab and then go make some water. And he's like, listen, he's like, none of these girls are doing anything. He was like, so he has this thing where he thinks that the girls want to make this big power move. So Tony goes off, he finds the idol, no surprise. And he shows everyone in his alliance this item. And he makes it think, makes it seem like if they're up for it, he's going to use it on them. Now, you, we all know Tony's not going to use that on anybody but Tony. So he says, basically, he's showing him, like, I'm protected, so don't vote for me. So just in case they are plotting to get him out. And Jeffrey looks a little bit upset that he has this um, idol, by the way. So I don't, like I said, I don't know, and I've said this in other um, previous reviews, I don't know what's going on with this openness, but a lot of people in this game now are very open about, you know, telling that they have idols and showing people this. And I'm like, this openness on top of these blind sides, this is a crazy, crazy season. So... As luck will have it, Miss Tasha scored her third immunity idol. And I was screaming like, yes, my girl got it. So immunity means everything. And he said, maybe Tony, she said, maybe Tony will make a final three thing with her. She just says an offhand comment and no one pays attention to because they're just like, well, Tony's not going to do it. I said, as paranoid as he is, he might just do it. So Cass says that this is not good. And Wu said these challenges seem to go her way. I don't think so. Tasha's a beast. Tasha's been fighting since day one because those challenges in the beginning did not go her way and she was fighting tooth and nail. So, unfortunately, Wu, you're incorrect on that one. Now, if anybody is going somebody's way, uh, Tony, 
But we all know it seems like things are, are working out well for Tony. Tony keeps finding these immunity idols. Tony has full control in this game, but they're not seeing that as usual. So Tony says it's time to change the game. He decides to vote out Jeffra. They have to get out Jeffra. So he goes to Spencer, but tells Spencer that Spencer must speak to get Tasha on board. He gets Wu on board and Wu just flips over. And I'm like, Wu, you're not questioning why they want Jeffra out. He's just going along with it. So Spencer tells Tasha that they have to get Jeffra and he and Tasha fist pump the dap and that's all. So I'm loving Spencer. Regardless of who wins between those two, this was the best bond that I've seen since Vesepia, and I think that I think her friend's name was Michael. I'm not, I don't remember his name, but Vesepia Towery, season four, with the guy that she was close with. That's this bond. This bond is not going to break. So then Spencer goes off. Uh, he's looking for the idol, and Tony feels a little iffy. Like, why is he looking for the idol? I'm like, you know, good and well, he doesn't have it. So I wouldn't even. You have it, and he's not going to get it. So I wouldn't even be too worried about that. But anyway, Tony's playing his idol tonight. So that he won't be blindsided. Jeffra basically says something about having to get over the anger of LJ's leaving. Like she really didn't know that LJ was leaving. I still don't believe that. I think she kind of knew and she kind of sat back a little bit. I don't think it was that. It was a blind. I think it was upsetting to her. But she had an inkling. Something funny was going on. So anyway, um... Jeff Probst are talking, starts talking about the way that the dysfunctional family can shift... And then Jeffra makes this offhand comment, well, when you're in the bottom, you're going to fight to save yourself. I'm like, aren't you in cast on the bottom, Jeffra? God, Jeffra, this, this, oh, Jeffra, this season is just aggravating. So anyway, they show this snake and it looks like, is that a cobra? I don't know what it is. It was, yeah, it was a cobra and it was gorgeous just sitting up there looking like who's getting voted out. I was like, that's so cute. So anyway, in a vote for three to two, Spencer against Jeffra, Miss Jeffra went home. Yeah. So it was a big blind side to Jeffra. It was a surprise to Cash and Trish. So it's like be on your P's and Q's. Tasha just side-eyed her and I bet you I did and probably a lot of people did that. Like Jeffra, you had a chance to flip. Could have gotten Tony out or at least tried to have made him use his idol so he would have been vulnerable but she didn't do that one so at this point as someone said on twitter all the beauty all the beautiful people the beauty team all gone now so next week apparently tony's allies are upset with him Cass says she wants to put him up he's like if you put me up then you're out of this game and i said okay so they're going to fake it out, put up Tony, and I guess Cass will probably be going home, and Tasha and Spencer are going to be okay. So, Jeffra says in her final little package that she wished she would have jumped ship. God, I wish she would have done it too, Jeffra, because you probably would have gotten further in the game if you had just gone on and, and made a big move, but you said you wanted to be stabbed in the back by people who you know versus people you don't know last week, so... I don't know what to tell you, man. But my two players, Jeffra, Ty Jeffra, Tasha and Spencer, doing fine. And Wu is like right up the rear because Wu is with, but then again, Wu is with Tony, but Wu is playing his own game and Tony better watch out. That's all I have to say for next week. So thank you guys for tuning in. And I'm definitely going to do a Survivor POV. It'll probably be pretty short since I've you know, spoken a little bit more in this video. But anywho, definitely check out my videos for um i have a Mad Men review coming it's gonna be a late one um hannibal believe and 24 on monday and this is sage valentine signing off i'm a happy camper because i just found out that i am going <laughs> to a uh wizard con and i am thrilled but we'll talk all about that later anyway guys definitely um Check out my videos. Check the links below. Have a really awesome Wednesday and a fabulous week. And for the people on the East Coast and down South, stay dry, Anna. Yeah, so bye, guys. <laughs> Don't forget to rate this video, comment, and uh, definitely subscribe if you love my brand of crazy because it's getting crazier and crazier. But anywho, guys, good episode. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>